Lajimodier Boulevard, a busy street many of us, if not all of us, use. We see the street often, but not often do we ask, what is the history of this road? So today, I'll be diving deep into Jean-Baptiste Lajimodier and what is as important to Manitoba's history. Also, before we start here, let's just say that Lajimodier is also shown as Lajimonier in a lot of history. His story starts in 1806. He was living a mundane life with his wife, then he suddenly got the urge to move to the west. And so, their journey began. Later in the year in August, they reached Fort Dare where they decided to spend the winter. In 1807, his wife then gave birth to the first child, Rain. And in their spring travels, they reached Fort Augustus, where they decided to stay for four years. And in 1811, they headed for the Red and Assiniboine Rivers. After another winter spent at Fort Dare, they moved to Red River Colony for permanent residence. And even though his travels were over, Jean still decided to hunt animals and live a hunter's life. And while he resided in the Red River Colony, he was even hired several times by Miles McDonald to hunt food for the colony. The due to violent clashes from the Hudson's Bay Company and the Northwest Company, they were evicted from their house for three months. And after he returned, he was hired by one of Lord Selkirk's agents to deliver dispatches to Lord Selkirk in Quebec. And after he delivered the dispatches, he set his way home, only to be seized by some agents from the Northwest Company and released in Thunder Bay. And when he returned home, he lived a rather peaceful life as a messenger for the HBC Company, as so did his sons. He even became a farmer with the land he earned from Lord Selkirk. And now for something that makes him really important. His daughter Julie married a Louis Riel, and together they had a child, Louis Riel. This Louis Riel was to become the founder of Manitoba, political leader of the Métis people, third time elected member of the House of Commons, and overall huge part in making Manitoba a province. As you can see, he did slim to nothing wrong, and I believe the road should remain the same. Though he didn't do anything too historical, should he still be recognized for being a grandfather of a famous person? And if he is remembered, what separates his history from other historical figures whose names are crossed out? Thank you for watching our video on the history of Lajimodier. 